Hey everybody, TGIF. TGIF for the longest week in the history of the world, I think. <laughs> I hope that you guys are gonna find me if you don't watch me live. Hopefully this will provide you a little bit of an escape this weekend or next week. Wow, what an insane, crazy week it has been. I know I say that and it's like not even, doesn't even measure the craziness that we've had this week. Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you guys on here. Um, I've been gone for two weeks. I'm just going to pull this up so I can see your comments better. Um, we went on vacation before the world was turned upside down. <laughs> we decided to take the kids um, to the mountains in um, our favorite place, Arizona and Utah. And we had an amazing uh time but while we were there um things were happening and i kept seeing things on facebook and i was telling my husband things are really weird this is like people are like buying all the toilet paper at home what in the world is happening and so by the time it was time for us to come home on friday i was a little afraid to get on that airplane um so you know it happened so fast last week when we left Monday, we had no idea what was coming. And by the time we got home on Friday, school had been canceled for three weeks. And, you know, what in the heck? Crazy. I hope all of you guys are good. I hope that you're safe and healthy. Um, you know, I, what do you even say during this time? Really, what do you even say? Um, I have been struggling. To be honest, this is, this is out of my, you know... I mean, it's out of all of our wheelhouses. This is just weird. And I love, love my kids dearly, but all the moms out there, you know what I'm talking about. It's scary thinking, oh my gosh, are we going to have a six month summer break? I don't know. So we're just breathing. I'm really working on my perspective, you know, like take it in perspective. And that's what, that's what I'm working on keeping a positive outlook. So here's one thing that I, somebody said, and I, I, I mean, I've read, I feel like I've read the entire internet in the last five days, but I don't know who it was, but you know, those of you, and it used to be me too, who worked a full-time job, I would say, I, all I want is just to be at home and just craft all day. I don't want to have to come to work. I want to just go home and stamp all day. Well, guess what? That's now, right? Um, a lot of us are at home, stuck at home, can't really shouldn't be going anywhere. Um, and so we have time and um, guilt free time, right? So like, you don't you should, you know, there's nowhere you can go. You're not missing anything. Um, you're staying home, you're doing your civic duty and staying home and crafting. And, you know, I feel kind of sad for people who don't have hobbies like we do um, that can fill their time. Uh, so let's make the most of it and let's get those stamps inked and uh, make some fun stuff. OK, um, let's see. F first, just you guys, I'm off my game big time. So <laughs> who knows what's going to happen today? I think everybody's off their game um, and we're just all doing the best we can. All right. So a little grace today if I'm a little bit of a hot mess. All right. Um, Marianne, I like what you're saying. Keeping positive is the only way we have control. Absolutely. Um, today, you might have seen something that's been going around. Um, there's like a circle and inside the circle is everything that you can control. And outside the circle are things that you can't control. And so we need to focus on those things in, in the circle, which is what? Like an, our attitude, right? So let's all just be kind and patient. I want to show you a few things. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, welcome. This will be a weird Facebook Friday. Um, I see the FedEx guys coming in the cul-de-sac. Thank goodness mail has, is still being delivered. But you know what that means. Yep, he's coming to my house. Charlie's going to come say hello. We have a new puppy, you guys. She's not here. I actually kicked my family out, sent them to grandma's. And uh, they took the puppy with them. I would show you the puppy. But... Um, She's not here. And guess what? She hasn't barked yet. She's not a barker yet. I'm sure they'll teach her um, <laughs> how to do it. But as of right now, she's not a barker. Okay, let's see. 
First of all, welcome to Facebook Friday. This week, Tags and Bloom. And I planned these projects like three weeks ago. Thank goodness, because you guys, I've had zero mojo this week. I've had nothing. The tank has been empty. My mind is scattered, everything. Luckily, I planned these um, well, I, for some reason, I well, um, I had a lot of time before we left that, that week, so I got it done. So this is what we're doing, Tags and Bloom. This is a celebration set. Hopefully you guys have seen, let me pull it out. The second release of Celebration, free with a $100 purchase. This is a bigger one, okay? So it's free with a $100 purchase. So I'm gonna show you three different things that you can make with this, okay? <laughs> Nathan, stay positive, wash your hands. Yes, and be kind, be calm, and be positive. Um, I have a little notepad here, a little post-it note of things that I wanna make sure that I say to you guys today. Um, some things I need to share um, and some things that um, just just some, I don't know, it's, a, it's kind of random and it doesn't all um, make sense. Um, but I'm gonna just go through that since I've showed you what we're, what we're using today, okay? If you've not done Facebook Friday with me, um, here's the PDF. Go over to pinkbuckaroo.com the post should be up. All three projects we're making are there. Under the last photo, you'll see this PDF. And all the measurements and products are there, okay? First, I want to tell you about Stampin' Up. Um, I had an email earlier in the week asking me um, if Stampin' Up was still open. Valid question, right? I mean, who would have thought we'd had to ask that last week? Yes. Um, Stampin' Up, the home office where they ship all your products, is open. However, they're super smart. I was, I was super impressed this week with what they've done. Um, on their pick line, that's where they pick all your products and put it in your box and ship it, as well as their manufacturing um, facility that's in Kanab, Utah. They have kind of split their workers working d two different shifts. Um, and I may not be saying exactly right, but I think this is the gist. The reason they do that is because if, let's say they have 20 people working and one person gets the virus, then all 20 people have to stay home for 14 days and therefore we don't get Stampin' Up! products for at least 14 days, right? So they're splitting that shift. I don't know the numbers, I'm totally making it up. Instead of 20 people working, they have a split shift, 10 people working for so many hours, then a break, and then those other 10 people come in. So super smart, I thought. That way, if anybody gets sick, hopefully they can still produce and pack and do all the things they, they do because lord knows we need our stuff <laughs> right we're stuck at home send us our stuff um so um the thing that comes with that obviously is that then instead of 20 people working at one time it would be 10. so productivity if that's the right word is going to slow down a little bit totally fine right we get it grocery stores they're having it they're slowing down everybody's slowing down we all just have to be patient so Keep that in mind. The second thing that I want to tell you about Stampin' Up! is that they had a huge earthquake in Salt Lake City. Um, what was it, Tuesday? What's today? I don't know. One, Wednesday? One day they this week, they had a very big earthquake. And um, the home office completely um, evacuated that day and did not work that day. So not only um, are they slow, a little bit slower than normal with their shipping, but they missed a whole day too to, to make sure the building was safe. So again, a little grace, a little patience for everybody. Um, poor, poor Salt Lake City dealing with the virus and then a giant earthquake and a whole day of aftershocks is what I've been told. So prayers for all of our friends in Salt Lake City. So glad it wasn't worse than what it could have been. Amy said it was Wednesday, yeah. I, I've lost track of the days, you guys. What day is it? Where am I? Who am I? What's happening? I don't know. I feel like we have arrived and the upside down or something is super weird. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanna tell you. Second, again, patience is key. Patience with Stampin' Up, patience with your grocery store people, patience with me, because I now am a full-time homeschooling teacher and my husband is here too, so patience, please. Um, third thing, I just sent out an email um, earlier today. I have put my PDFs on sale, 25% off for the next week. If you want PDFs, go get them, 25% off, no limit, um, until through next Friday. Um, there's a code, March 20, March in capital letters, okay? Uh, if you didn't get that email, make sure you are subscribed to my email list. And if you think you are subscribed and you didn't get the email, search your spam folder still, if not there, email me and let me know, okay? 
Um, my Easter class. So I shipped out my Easter class. Again, I don't know what day it is, when, who, what. I think it was yesterday. And I cut about, I don't know, a handful of extra kits. Um, I had a feeling I would be getting some emails saying, I need some stuff to do. So if you didn't get the, the Easter class to go and you want it, it's free. It's a free class. All you have to do is put in an order, okay? Um, and then I send it to you for free. Um, if you want the details on that, message me, okay? And I just have a handful. They're ready to ship. They're free, okay, free. I threw in free ribbon, so don't worry. I didn't order product ahead and I'm not selling product. It's a gift, it's free, when you put in an order online, okay? That's how this class was. Um, if you didn't get in on that and you want, yeah, you see chocolate, mm-hmm. Raise your hand if you're stress eating this week, you guys. I am not a stress eater, but this week, the wheels have come off. And those stupid peanut butter eggs, <sighs> yeah. Anyway, thank you, Crystal. Crystal, I bought these from her. Aren't they cute? Um, so if you want a free class, free Easter class, free, 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 just let me know, and I'll let you know the details on how you can get that, okay? Um, okay, next thing. Paper pumpkins, you guys, raise your hand if you got your paper pumpkin, it's so cute. Um, hold on, I'm reading comments. Denise, first come, first serve, is that what you mean? Yes, all right, email me if you want it. Denise, you can text me because you live down the street. <laughs> cute, 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 right? Um, in this month's paper pumpkin, I haven't done it yet. I, I'm snuggling the new puppy at night, which is usually when I do my paper pumpkins in front of the TV, and I can't put her down. She's so cute. Um, but it had two stamp sets in it. I ordered a bunch of extras, extra paper pumpkin kits, and um, I've already sold about half of them. So if you want one, email me, please. Um, they are um, $24 shipped. Just gave my email man an early Easter. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Taking care of the... I keep thinking the mail the mail isn't happening, but it is. The mail's not closed yet. We, I think you guys saw I gave my mail lady hand sanitizer yesterday. Whew. Bet she is feeling like ugh, on everything. Okay. Um, the all-star tutorial. I want to tell you guys something about this too. If you subscribed to this last month, and you didn't get an email from me, you need to let me know. Um, this month, when I send these out, subscribers get them on the first of every month. I am religious about that, and I email them out on the first every month. If you don't get it, you need to let me know. For some reason this month, the email that I sent out, like half of them didn't arrive. So then I sent it out again, maybe the next day or the day after that, and still people are telling me they didn't get it. So if you are a subscriber, please, please, please let me know because I don't want you to feel like that Erica took my money and didn't send me the PDF because I would never, ever do that. Um, I've heard from several of you just today um, that you didn't get it. So please know that if you are a subscriber, you get this on the first. Now, the other way to get this is when you spend $50 or more online. Um, and I have sent this out. It's probably, let's see, when did I do it? I think maybe it was Saturday or Sunday that I sent it out. I sent it out once a week. And so I'll send it out again either today or tomorrow. If you've uh, online shopped with me this week. Um, it's 12 tutorials by 12 different designers. And this month they all feature the Parisian Blossom Suite. Here's mine. Okay, so there's that. Uh, that's the March PDF tutorial. Um, okay, how about the class to go? The other class kit right here, Dress to Impress. Deadline to sign up for this is Monday. Okay, yes, Judy says they should check their junk mail. Yes, I end up in junk mail a lot and I'm not sure why. I think because I send, you know, like if you send out to 20 email addresses at once, some emails say, oh, this girl is spam, I'm gonna send her over. So if you're ever looking for an email from me, go over to your spam folder, search, and you might find it there. If anybody knows how to improve the delivery <laughs> of your emails, let me know, because I'm having some trouble with that. Oh my goodness, I forgot to do Do Not Disturb. Are you guys still there? Ah, I forgot to do Do Not Disturb. Oh, well, that was the grocery store calling me. Why was H-E-B calling me? Huh, interesting. Anyway, here is the uh, Dress to Impress class to go. Lots of goodies in there, has lots of projects. The deadline for this is Monday. Go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. Did you just see that? I did that. 
I'm at home and I'm alone, so it's okay. <laughs> Don't touch your face. I touch my face all day. Have you guys discovered that about yourself, that you touch your face all day? Here it is, all the details right here, okay? All the details right here. At the bottom of today's post, you'll actually find the link where you can go over and read all the details about this class and then click on email me so that I can send you the registration link. This is one you have to register for and I can't list that online. You have to actually email it to me and then I email it to you. Or you email me and I email it to you, okay? Um, that deadline is Monday and I, my goal, <laughs> Trisha, all day, right? Touch your face, I don't know, all day. Um, my my goal for this kit usually I it takes me one week after the deadline to get them shipped but I'm gonna get this out I, I would really like to send this kit out fast like by early Thursday or Friday um, so that you guys have it during our what do we call it quarantine self social isolation time <laughs> Darcy I touch my eyes all the time me too Okay, glad to know that we all touch our face. Ugh, it's hard. Class to go, let me know if you need a kit. It'll be coming to you towards the end of next week, okay? Um, that's the dress to impress this whole suite right here. All right. Mm. Okay, there's that. What else? What's on my list? Okay, you guys, coronacation. Yes, it's during your coronacation you'll have stuff to work on. I used that last week and I forgot about it. That's funny. Um, who just asked me how Arizona was? Jennifer, it was amazing. I have always said Utah is my favorite place on earth, but this time we spent most of our time in Northern Arizona, which is right under Utah and I love it. I love Northern Arizona. We are, we, we are obsessed with that area. My kids are already like, when are we going back? It was so good. Thank you for asking. Next week we're gonna do the mountains um oh i can't even remember what it's called but you know the mountains stamp set and um it now i'm distracted by the voicemail alert i know what that is i have a prescription at the grocery store oh. um the mountain stamp set next week and it all of it's just totally um inspired by those mountains that i love so much in utah and arizona so anyways i told my husband i'm glad we went we almost didn't go and i was kind of like not even wanting to go um, just because, you know, traveling and then all this stuff kind of started. Um, but God, I'm so glad we go went because who knows when we're going to be able to travel again. <sighs> praying, praying this is over fast. We, this is so selfish, you guys, but we have a trip to Maui in July with Stampin' Up! And I will be devastated if it's canceled. I know, first world problems. I know, selfish, but <laughs> praying hard. Praying hard for everybody's health and safety, obviously, too. <laughs> I mean, well, come on. You know, you know. Okay, here's the last thing I'm going to say. If you comment anything negative on any of my posts, whether it be my personal page, this group, or Pink Buckaroo, I'm just going to delete it. As soon as I see it, I'm going to delete it. I have been deleting ugly comments right and left. And I don't think... Things are directly directed maybe at me. I think we're all just on edge and irritated and scared. And we're commenting, blah, blah, blah. My husband calls it uh, keyboard cowboys. You know, when you're like, Rrr. so let's be nice, okay? Hands up, I mean, heads up. If you say anything negative, I'm just gonna delete it, okay? And again, the, the, the negative things haven't necessarily been directed at me, but they've been directed maybe at other people who've commented. Um, we're, we need to support everybody. Everybody is entitled to their own opinions, right? On politics, on this thing. Everybody's, that's why America's great. So everybody just, okay? Okay. All right. Let's not be keyboard keyboard cowboys. Let's just be awesome stampers who are nice, <laughs> okay? So I had to write that down just because I wanted to say it. Anything negative, anything, even if you're griping about a shipping cost on something, I'm gonna delete it, okay? Because I, I, can't, I can't deal with any more negativity. It's gotta be positive, it's gotta be helpful, and it's gotta be not mean, <laughs> okay? All right, you guys, let's flip this around. You know what? No, let's do door prizes real quick. Um, 
two people last week who shared the video are Maria, and I know I'm gonna say her name wrong, Porus, and Roxy, I love that name, Roxy Eller. You two were randomly chosen to win the Capture the Good stamp sets, okay? So there's that. Please message me. I don't think I have either of your mailing addresses. So me message me or email me your address. Yes, Jennifer, this too shall pass, right? Yes, it will. It will. Okay, learning lesson, right? We're learning something. Look what I have to give away this week. Three host sets. Make a splash. This is only available to hosts, and I've got three of them. Okay? All right, if you would like to win one of these, please share my video on Facebook and I will put you in a drawing next week. All right, enough of the serious. Ugh. All right, let's see. What else? What else? Let me move this. Um, you guys, we only we only have 11 days of celebration left. And it feels weird to even like talk about celebration when we're dealing with all this crap, <laughs> junk. I shouldn't say that. Facebook's going to delete my video now because I said a bad word. Um, but celebration <laughs> ends in 11 days, whether we're quarantined or not. So celebration, if you want free stuff with your orders, you got to order before the end of the month. The other amazing deal during celebration is the starter kit, right? And the starter kit is $99.00. Um, you get $125 in product of your choice. You get a free paper sampler pack. You get a free baby trimmer, a little mini trimmer. You also get an additional free stamp set of your choice, okay? So, starter kit. And you know what? So my team and I were talking about the starter kit on Facebook um, this week. And one thing somebody suggested is that you have a direct line to order your stuff. You don't have to go to the store and deal with Jeremy people. <laughs> the second thing is that you have a community. If you're, in, if you're isolated at home, you're stuck and you live by yourself, you might need some more interaction with people. When you join my team, I immediately add you to the Facebook group. And right now my team's doing a card shower within our team. We're sending each other cards. So it's a great place to belong. Um, and then of course you get your discount, right? You get that 20% discount or 20% savings when your friends order from you. You get to keep 20%. Um, so don't forget about that, okay? That amazing deal is good through the end of March, okay? That's all I'm going to say about that because you guys know. Look, I made a sample starter kit, but you guys have seen it before. So we'll just move it over here because I have been talking for a very long time today. Okay, I think we're ready. I only All I have left on here are the make and takes. Today, um, if you order as part of Facebook Friday, you use the host code that you'll see here when I flip the camera, um, and your order is at least $35, I'm gonna send you today's projects free in the mail like this, with a thank you tag. That's not part of the projects. You will need the stamps to stamp your own images. You will need your ink, and you'll need adhesive. Everything else will be in here for you. Um, paper, envelopes, embellishments, all of that's in there, okay? so. If you would like them for free, I mail them out on Wednesday morning, um, the following Wednesday morning, so you'll get it pretty quickly, okay? So there's that, that's that, and I think we're ready to flip the camera. So let's do that, and I'm not fancy. I'm just gonna cover you guys up for a second. Peggy says, I'm an introvert, heaven staying home. Okay, so Peggy, that's so funny that you say that because I'm totally an introvert too, and I would totally love it. However, I'm not alone at home. <laughs> I get my introvert alone time when everybody goes to school and work. And then, you know, like I was telling my mom that, you know, I'm just, I, I, I'm an introvert by nature and I, my batteries are recharged in those quiet alone times, right? My husband's the opposite. His battery is charged by spending time with people. Um, so, you know, there's different kinds of people out there. So it's been really hard for me. The house is a disaster. There's all this noise, blah, blah, blah. I'm not being able to have that time where I can recharge. Um, so it's a little bit hard. I love my kids. So don't, don't think I don't because I do. Um, but I like, I liked our setup before the coronavirus. <laughs> um, and they need to be at school too. They need to be with their friends. Um, 
anyway, I don't know. Yes, I agree. It's a it's an introvert's heaven, mostly. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're making today: tags and bloom. This stamp set um, was designed. I'm getting my other stuff. So hold on just a second. This stamp set was designed to coordinate with two of the punches that are in the, let's see, where do I want to put this? That are in the spring catalog. And I can't keep them straight. Let me see. One is called Label Me Lovely. I think that's this one. And one is called Label Me Fancy. And that's this one. Okay, so you can see how that fits that and that fits that. Um, and it's really kind of cool. I love this punch. I pray this punch stays in the annual catalog. It's awesome. Uh, Vicki, our school clo is closed right now through April 3rd. Um, you know, it's so weird, right? I was a teacher for 17 years, and I grew up in this school district that my kids are at, and we never had anything like this. I mean, never. We don't have snow days here. Every maybe five years, we'll have an ice day, and that's it. So it's just so bizarre right just so so bizarre i mean i know you guys i know nobody's had anything like this it just ugh. and i keep trying to remind myself i'm not the only one we're not the only one it's not just our city it's not just our state it's everybody in the whole wide world so calm down <laughs> as my kids say calm down we'll survive okay now one one thing you might have noticed, some of you are probably already out there yelling at me. Um, remember, I'll delete your comment. <laughs> if you're negative, I'm going to delete you. Um, this paper right here is the Golden Honey Designer Series paper. When, remember, I designed this card three weeks ago. Well, since then, that paper has sold out. Uh, hopefully, you already got it. If you didn't get it, there's a paper that's almost identical to this in the Botanicals. Ooh, what's it called? Botanical Prints Product Medley. Um, and I and I was gonna change it, but then I thought, no, you know what? I'm gonna keep this black and white paper here because I wanna show you how I, I colored it and changed it. And then I also know that many of you have this paper, okay? All right, before we do that, let's do this part. And I want to, we're gonna use the Stamparatus because this right here, these flowers, funny thing, I made a card to take to my um, retreat. And then when I got to my retreat, I couldn't even remember how I did it. I couldn't remember what, how did I color it in? And then I remembered these stamps right here are designed to stamp in here. So it's, there's no coloring, you're stamping. Um, however, I cannot line them up when I just try, you know, like with a block. So I highly recommend that you use your Stamparatus. And the Stamparatus, you know what? I don't think I put that on the supply list. Um, the Stamparatus is $49 and it is an amazing tool. If you don't have it, I highly recommend it. Okay, so I'm gonna take, this is my Whisper White card base. And I'm gonna lay this down here. Let's get it straight, Erica. If you line it up on your grid lines, like this, if for some reason it comes up while you're stamping, which sometimes happens with these photopolymers because they're sticky, then you can just line it back up. All right, now I'm gonna take this, and is it even clean? Who knows? Yeah, it's clean. Okay, I'm terrible. I am terrible at cleaning my stamps. I'm a bad stamp cleaner. I usually stamp it before I use it, not after I use it, which can be a problem. All right, so that's where I want it. And I'm gonna stamp it in Memento Black. Hello to everybody. We have lots of people watching today. I'm glad you guys are here on our coronacation. All right, Memento Black. All right, now I'm gonna flip this plate over. I don't even have my other plate. Who knows where it is? It's in the drawer. And I'm gonna take these. These are the flowers. And I'm gonna line them up the best I can. I can't really see. Um, what I'm doing because the camera and I want to say sometimes they'll stick to my fingers when I'm trying to get them placed so I'll just take like my um, what is this called take your pick tool oh come on and get it as good as you can okay so I'm gonna lay that down and now and we're 
we're gonna do um, flirty flamingo and look I got it right here don't want that to happen and voila all right now I'm gonna let's see now you know what I do need that other plate let me grab it I don't know why I didn't grab it it's right here now on this other plate I am going to take my leaves I'm feeling kind of shaky why am I shaky I need to eat another peanut butter egg <laughs> you guys I've been doing so good I've lost 12 pounds I was getting ready for Maui and then all this happened and I just have done not good stress eating I never I never thought I was a stress eater and now I'm just like, what can I eat? It's disappointing. But today I'm better. Today, yesterday I was like, okay, this has got to stop. Because you know when you eat bad, you don't feel good. And I think that yesterday maybe that was adding to my grouchiness. Because I was super grouchy yesterday. So today I'm trying to do better. All right. Old olive. Like that. Okay, there. Now, there's the flower center, which is this one. And you know what? It's so tiny that I am going to just use a block for this one. Okay, and I have all these inks open over here. We're going to do Daffodil Delight. Like, oh, hello, upside down. Like that. All right, voila. Now, we can remove this and move all of this. I'm leaving it on here because we're going to use it again in a minute. And I'll put it somewhere over here. All right, now let's color our DSP. And I need my grid paper, which of course is over here buried. You know what? Forget it. We'll just use this. All right, so this is a piece of that Golden Honey Designer Series paper. Um, yes, I know it's sold out. Please don't hate me. If you get the free make and takes in the mail, I have enough to send you a strip for your card. All right, so I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo, and I am going to go every other line and do all the light, and then I'm going to go back and do the dark. Okay? I, maybe I should have done this ahead of time. While I'm coloring, let me just tell you about my new puppy because everyone loves to hear you talk about your dog, right? So we're crazy. We've lost our minds and we like a lot of barking and chaos. So we decided to add in a puppy. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. Um, so our two schnauzers that we have, we have two white miniature schnauzers who we love, 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 but they're old, right? They're grouchy. They're old. We still love them. But my girls have never had a puppy. We've always rescued. They actually were both a res rescues. Well, Mac, Mac was sort of a rescue, but Charlie, for sure, he was from the pound. Um, and the girls have never had a puppy. We, when we got them, they were both older. So they have been begging for a puppy for a solid year. And they wore me down. And there's a woman here in town who had um, some puppies. And this one, I would, I think I probably would have been able to pass. However, if you guys have seen, maybe in my Instagram stories, or I think I posted on here too, ha she, half her face is black and half is white. She has like a line down her face. And I mean, I was like, okay, she's mine. I have to have her. So she came home with us Saturday. It's almost been a week and she's tiny. She's three pounds. She was eight weeks old, and she's been really good. She cries at night in her kennel, but I'm being strong, and I'm letting her cry it out. I mean, she's in the same room with the boys, so she shouldn't, you know, she shouldn't be too sad. Um, and she'll get used to it. But she's a snuggler. So, okay, I'm not even telling you because I'm so distracted talking about my dog. Um, the <laughs> DSP, do you see how I colored it? Um, it's one and a fourth wide. So this piece of basic black cardstock is one and three eighths, just a little bit wider over here um, so that it has just a little bit of contrast. Um, but she's good. She's a miniature schnauzer too. 
She, um, her mom and dad both were schnau miniature schnauzers. One was black and white, and one was brown and white, or liver as they call it. Um, and they both had that speckling. Um, they call it ticked, and she's a little bit ticked on the back. And apparently, that ticking can come out more as they grow. So, um, we will, we will see. She's a cutie. She's she's good. She's pretty smart. She she's scared of the doggy door. She hasn't quite mastered the doggy door. We're working on it. And she wants to use it real bad. She whines and whines out and like sniffs at it and stuff. But she'll get there. All right. So I stamped this little um, dotted frame stamp in black on Flirty Flamingo DSP from the Bright Stack. And see how lovely it just punched out with the lovely label me. Ah, is it? No. Is this one lovely or fancy? Label me lovely. I need to write it on there. <laughs> Label me lovely. And then I'm going to stamp. And I'm just all over the place. I'm going to stamp this. Wishing you the best. This would be a good one to send right now. If you're going to just do some random acts of kindness. And send some. Oh, I meant to show you guys. I had three cards to show you. I got three very lovely cards in the mail this week. I'll show you at the end. Don't even forget. Um, now, of course, we're going to do dimensionals. Okay. And we're going to put that right there, like that. Now, we've got a little flower as well, and I took this one off. Where can I put this so I won't lose it? I'm going to stick it on my iPad. Um, well, I have a stamp case right here, Erica. Hello. All right. So now we have this. And... Do you think I should try it without the stamparatus? I'm feeling I'm feeling lucky. What do you guys think? Should I try it? Let's try it and see. It's smaller. I, I feel like I can do better with the smaller ones. All right, so outline in black. And then the color. But first, let's it's not symmetrical, so you have to rotate it around. Oh, I actually got it perfect the first time. All right, and if you get right on top of it. And stamp. Oh, that looks terrible. All right, let's try it one more time. Oh, I just stamped that in the wrong one. All right, you know what? Look what I have right here. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. I'm just filling it in with my stamp and blend. We're going to pretend like I did it perfect. Look at that. It's perfect. <laughs> All right, now where's my center? Right here. Goodness. Now I have a nice, lovely black flower in my flirty flamingo. Oh well, that's okay. Remember what I just said, that I am not good at cleaning my stamps. And the consequences are not good. All right, now this one, we're just gonna fussy cut. If you don't wanna fussy cut, just don't. Don't do it, leave it off, it's fine. It's just a little something something. All right, and I'm just gonna go right along that black line, just a little bit out of it. I'm not looking at y'all's comments. What are you saying? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Looks great. Nothing is ever perfect. As we are learning, right? As we are learning. My kids are handling it pretty well. Um, it was fun at first, but the actual school stuff starts next week, online school. I mean, they've had some, you know, optional things this week, but we shall see how that goes next week. My teenager... My teenager is not happy. She She's a social butterfly. These are the basic adhesive backed sequins. She um, does not like this. She needs people. She needs people, lots of people. <laughs> and so she's got, she's of course seeing on social media friends who are, you know, out and about going to the lake, going to the beach and I know she's like, ugh, this isn't fair. I want to go. I want to do that. She has a job, luckily, at um, a place called Raisin Cane's. It's a food place, and they're doing drive-through now. And she loves to do drive-through, so she's working, which is good. She gets to have some social time at work. She loves all the people she works with. All you know, all the teenagers from her school work there, or all the people that work there, basically from her school or schools in the area. They're all teenagers, um, so she likes that. And she's making some good money this week. I'm like, hey, take advantage of it. 
you know? Normally you wouldn't get to work this many hours. All right, so that's the basic black twine from the Clubhouse twine pack. And there you have it. I just tied it around the seam of the card. Wishing you the best. Who am I going to send it to? I'm going to send it to somebody because we need to wish each other the best, right? What do you guys think? Cute? Cute. All right, next up. Let me clean my mess a little bit. And let's see. I th actually think I'm going to keep all of this here. I think I need all of it for the next one, but not this. Let's move this out of the way. Um, what are we going to make next? What did I have? Let's make the box next. All right. Let's make the box. My little one is in fifth grade, and um, fifth grade is the end of elementary school here. They go to middle school the next year, and I'm a little bit worried about her because if we don't go back to school, um, they do all this transition stuff towards the, the last few months of school, getting them ready for middle school, and she's going to miss out on that. And she's she's all she's one that's always super like worried about going to school, um, changing grades. So if she doesn't get to do all that transition stuff um, at her school with her teacher, I think it's going to be hard for her. But we shall see, right? Okay, a little box, and let me show you. I accidentally um, glued it on upside down. <laughs> There's the opening. Um, inside is our these shortbread cookies from Starbucks. You guys seen these when you check out at Starbucks? I grabbed a couple and I thought, okay, let's make something. And I thought this was pretty good. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Do I need the big shot? Mm, nope. I can move it now. Let me move this out of the way. All right. So this box is made out of Whisper White thick cardstock. Did you guys know we have two different Whisper Whites? We have regular Whisper White for stamping, which we love. And then this is the thick white that you would use for making boxes and stuff. Yeah, Kimberly, I know you guys, the, the kids who are seniors in high school and college, devastating. I mean, this has got to be so devastating. I'm so sorry. Okay, this, pa this paper, that sounds really glib of me to switch over and then just start telling you about the paper. <laughs> I don't mean it. Kimberly hugs. I know, it's hard. This is Whisper White Thick, like I said, and it's weird measurements, okay? So you're going to need this PDF right here because it's all listed here. Um, I made the box to fit this perfectly. So it's 5 eighths of an inch thick, so that's why the measurements are weird. It's 6 and 7 eighths by 6 and 3 fourths. So the 6 and 7 eighths is your long side. Um, and we're going to score that at 5 eighths, at 3 and an eighth three and three fourths and six and a fourth. Okay. Now turn it and score it at again, five eighths. Five eighths is just one tick mark past the half and then five and five eighths and six and a fourth. Okay. Let's move that. Oh my gosh, Lisa, your oldest is trying to fly home from Thailand. Yikes, yikes. Thailand, I hope she gets home. Yeah, she's social too. Oh, I love Thailand. We went to Thailand a few years ago and I was nervous. I didn't really want to go, but man, that's probably my second favorite place ever. All right, so I've got my bone folder, making all these lines nice and crisp, and then we'll do some trimming. Look at my nails, they look nice. I'm gonna have to soak them off, I guess. We can't go get our nails done. Again, I know, first world problems. I'm embarrassed to even say it. Okay, so we're, the first thing we're gonna do, here is the section that has these two five eighths, in, or two smaller sections. This one's five eighths, I think this one is just a half. Um, that's at the top. The bottom you have just this one section right here, and we're just gonna cut off that one square, okay? That one in this corner. Then you wanna trim trim or snip snip those score lines now come over here and we're going to cut off i got to make sure i do it right let me make sure yeah all four of these right here okay let me get my bigger scissors these four little segments right here why am i feeling shaky it's weird all right, now, 
here we go. This is the top again. We're going to cut out these two squares right here. So let's cut those out. My poor husband, he hasn't worked the last two days. And today I was like, all right, everybody needs to go somewhere. <laughs> Please give me some quiet time to do Facebook Friday. And he was kind of like, uh, what? Okay, now these two are gone. We're going to cut these from the top, okay, up here. Or, yeah, well, from the top because it's like this. Okay, so there are those flaps. So now, guys, by the way, no clean recordings on this. There's no way I had even the mental capacity for that today. <laughs> um, but right here, this is what it looks like in case you want to come back and stop the video, okay? So there's that. Um, we're going to need to also on this one just cut the corners off a little bit. All right. So anyway, my husband went to his parents, he, he and his dad. Um, I, this is going to sound so weird. If you, I mean, it's a, I don't know. They reload. They Again, man, I got a spam call. I've been getting a ton of spam calls. Anyway, my husband and his dad reload bullets. That's what they do. They like to they like to um, make their own bullets. So anyway, that's what he was going to go do. So I'm like, hey, you can do that. All right, now, adhesive all the way down here, right? All the way down. I'm going to fold it all the way over. And these two sides are the same width. So we can just wrap it around like that. Okay, so now it just looks like a box. So all we need to do is remember where the the top and the bottom are so that our little decoration isn't upside down. Oh, Catherine, so, oh yeah, Lisa, your son does it too. Okay, sometimes I'm like, oh, people are, you know what, I don't need this much. Sometimes I'm like, oh, people are gonna be like, he what? My husband, um, they're big hunters. So they like to, well, they just like to shoot their guns at targets and then reload their bullets. <laughs> but you know what, it's all right. He never questions my hobby, so I'm not gonna question his. All right. He said today, this morning, he said, man, I wish I had a room like yours where I could re do all my reloading. And I was like, um, don't even think about it, buddy. Don't even think about it. All right, I'm pressing that, those flaps down. And then I said, can you make your hobby a job? Like I made mine a job. <laughs> and he was all, um, and he started laughing. If you could, then you can have your own big, beautiful room too. We're already on each other's nerves, I think. All right, there we go. Now, these little flaps, look, I have another one. Put it in there, fold that, and close it. I feel like I'm, go I feel like I'm moving in slow motion today. <sighs> I feel like this is taking way longer than it should. All right, a piece of press petals, designer series paper. I believe it measures two and three eighths by five and four and seven eighths. But look at the PDF just to make sure. Okay, so there we have it. Now let's make this part right here. Do you see how I have that flower there? Let me show you what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do something different. And I actually couldn't even remember how I did it today when I was getting everything together. I had to almost pull it apart to figure out what I had done. Okay, so now we have these, right? And so I'm going to put this right here. Okay, this little paper, and we're gonna ink this up. Oh, Darcy, your daughter's reload. Wow, no, you know what? My um, youngest does hunt with him. Um, but she hasn't asked to do that yet, but I bet she would like it. That's interesting. All right, let's make sure. Are we still lined up? Mm, just nervous now. All right, we need to clean the stamp, right? Because now we're going to use Dactyl Delight. Thanks, you guys. You're so sweet. All right, now, Michelle, this is called Tags and Bloom. It's a celebration set. Daffodil Delight. Okay. And, oops. Old Olive. Okay. Now, we're going to do it again. All right. We're going to do it. We're going to do it twice. So let me put this one here and we'll do it real fast. 
real fast. Luckily, we have it set up like a little machine, and we just put everything back into the order we had it. Memento black, stamp, flip. Don't you love it, Stamparatus? I'm way in the corner, sorry. I worked myself way down to the bottom of the table. I've got too much stuff up here. Let me move these so I can move it up. All right, Daffodil Delight. Hopefully I don't get that ink there on that. And one more, our old olive leaves. So, you know, this is just showing you when you have a card that has lots of stamping and you wanna make a lot of them, the Stamparatus makes it really easy because everything's set up and you could just, you know, like a little factory, like a little stamp factory, you could just keep making the same cards over and over again and everything's already set up for you. I love it. Fun, fun. <laughs> okay, now, soft suede. I wanted these to be sunflowers. Okay, so soft suede. Oops, this is not the right one. This is the one that I... Mm, hold on. Hold, please. Let's see. I'm going to switch. Well, I'll just do this one. I'm going to put it over here because I did need it. Remember, I put it back in here. I didn't think I needed it. Where did it go? Right here. Okay. Here we go. Try it again. Soft suede, sunflower center. Soft suede, sunflower center. All right. Now, yes, you have to fussy cut. I'm sorry, friends. You have to fussy cut. Now, if you didn't want to fussy cut, of course, you could just stamp it on a circle or an oval or whatever. But what I'm going to do here. I'm gonna cut all the way around this one, and then I'm just going to cut off part of the other one to add the flower to it, okay? So what, what else has been going on with you guys lately? <laughs> Spend a little time in the kitchen, a little time in the living room, maybe go into the garage for a while, and back to the living room. <laughs> Are, are some of you still working? I know that there are some people working. Our city has said, how, oh, well, no, I can't remember. Basically, a lot of businesses had to close, like gyms, what else? Now I can't even remember. Restaurants, bars, pubs, all that. Um, okay, now I'm gonna cut this out and I'm just gonna cut this flower with part of the tag, okay? So let's just cut that off. My husband is a, is in sales. He sells, um, he works for Universal Forest Products, which is a lumber company. Um, they sell trusses to home builders, which are, you know, those big, you know, when you see a house, it's in stick frame, like when it's just the, the wood, all the wood pieces, that's what my husband sells. Um, so he's been working all week, but all week, all the home builders have been telling him, yeah, we're gonna be closed. So then yesterday he just, he didn't really have much work and then today again too, not much work, um, which I'm kind of glad. He has asthma, so I worry about him. Okay, so see how that's gonna line up there? You're not gonna see this wonky part right here. You're not gonna see it because it's gonna be covered. Oh, good, Cindy, remote. Yeah, some of you are uh, working remotely. How do you like that? I think I would like it if I, um, wasn't normally a remote worker, but then got to, to work at home. I think I would like it. I don't know. I'm sure there are downsides to it too. Okay, now let's get this. We're gonna bring back this one, the dotted frame. Oh, did I do it in black? Oh gosh, did I do that again? Look at my hand. You know, it's the middle of the second project that the wheels always start coming off, isn't it? First project's all good, and then the second project, I'm confused, losing things. Oh, Lisa, your husband is working. He works for the grocery store. <gasps> I bet he is working nonstop. Well, thank him for us, because those grocery guys, those people are heroes, too. I heard him say that today, and I thought, you know what? That is so true. They are working their behinds off. All right, now, here's the other one. Label me, you know what? I just have to get out the catalog to make sure that I'm telling you the right name. Let's find it. 
We got nothing but time today. I don't need to pick up any kids at school. Okay, there it is. This one's fancy. See, I feel like, oh, well, that one's lovely. I don't know. I feel like that should be fancy. All right, fancy. You know what? This is how we'll remember. It's fancy because it's designed to have this. This is like a little slot that you can put in the tag. And you can you see me? <laughs> I can see myself. Um, anyway, there's a dot. Um, so that's why it's fancy, right? Because you can alternate it. That's how I remember. Um, one word to the wise on this uh, punch is that because, let's see, I need to put it in like that. So we're going to stamp it down here. Because it has that line and that dot, it's going to take up more of your paper. So see right here when I stamp, I mean, when I punch, it's going to punch that up here and that here. So if you've stamped a bunch of these right on top of each other, you're not going to be able to, to punch them out without messing up the one above it. So make sure if you're doing that, you space them out quite a bit. Just a little tip. All right, what did I do? I did memento, sending hugs. I think I'll leave this for my mail lady tomorrow, although she may not. Well, it's sealed. I didn't touch it. <laughs> I didn't touch it. It's sealed in the package. She has hand sanitizer now from me. All right, we're gonna layer all of these up. Oh, you guys. Yeah, so somebody said something about Disney Plus. Did you guys see um, Frozen 2 it was on Disney Plus? We got very excited about that last weekend, and we watched that. Um, something else. Oh, that new Pixar movie, you guys, if you have kids. That new Pixar movie that's out at, well, that was out at the theaters. Here, this is Linen Thread. Did you see how I'm using two pieces? I'm going to tie my bow at the, at, you know, like pretending like I have one piece but I'm really, I have two pieces. Anyway, I can't remember what it's called. Onward, I think Onward. We saw it in the theater before we went out of town and it's adorable. Well, I just saw that Disney Plus is going to, because the theaters are now closed, Disney Plus is gonna have that too, I think on the 30th. You guys have to check it out. If you love Disney, Disney Plus, you gotta check it out. All right, we've got a kind of a wild bow there, look at that. Ooh, a little wild. And that's it. I don't know if I gave you guys all the right instructions because I'm just blabbering, but <laughs> hopefully you can make this too. All right. What did I miss? What did I miss? On April 3rd, Janet, I missed something. I'm trying to see here. Usually we had over 150. Oh, 150 earthquakes since Wednesday morning. Yeah, Michelle, I don't know if you were here at the beginning, but I was talking about that. I cannot imagine what you guys are going through with that. What was it, a 5.7, Michelle? That's a big earthquake. And, uh, and then all the aftershocks. Oh, I can't imagine. I, you know, I cannot imagine dealing with that on top of you know, everything else. Definitely prayers for you guys. Okay, what do you guys think? Cute, cute, I think it's cute. You know what I noticed I did here? I think I did color that with blends. Look, you can color it with blends if you don't wanna line all that up. I did some light and some dark. You can do that. Or you can do it like this one where I stamped it with ink. Okay, project number two, done. Look, I am way behind. Oh my gosh, it's three o'clock. I'm usually done by now. We have a whole third project to go. You guys don't mind, do you? You don't mind, hopefully. One more card. This one's a lot faster, I think. Okay, now we gotta get that. What did I do with my stamp rats? We gotta get that off of there. We're gonna do, well, let's see. Do I wanna do it on the stamp rats? Yes, I think I do. All right, we're gonna stamp this in Flirty Flamingo on Flirty Flamingo, okay? Let's get it all nice and clean. And we don't need this one anymore, so I'm gonna take that one off, and I'll take this one off later. We don't need that. I'm gonna put this right here, but I'm gonna take that off. All right, this is a stitched rectangle, Flirty, flirty Flamingo. I suddenly have, I need a drink, hold on. Flirty Flamingo cardstock, stitched rectangle, and I put on the PDF what the measurement was, and now I don't know where the PDF is. 
Um, so I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to, I'm going to center this so that in a minute I'm going to have these flowers down here too. Okay. So see right now it looks like it's a little bit high, but that's because it's going to be, we need to keep in mind that these flowers are going to go down here. Okay. All right. So, so that's what happens when you don't clean your stamps good enough. It's okay. So flirty flamingo. Okay. Now I'm going to clean it again. Hopefully clean it a little bit better than I did last time. My chamois needs to be cleaned. Then I'm going to come down here. If I can see it's a pretty big glare. I'm going to line it up. Oh gosh, you guys, I cannot see. I'm going to line it up with that that's already there, okay? Now, those lines, these lines are going to look not perfect. And that's going to be okay because let's look here. See how we've got it mostly covered? So if they're not perfect, it's okay. Flirty Flamingo. Like that. And there you go. All right, so now we've got this um, double frame, really. All right, now this is easy. I've got some of this done already. We're gonna take this. This is Daffodil Delight um, Designer Series paper from the Brights. I'm out of dimensionals. I hate when I have to do this. And we're gonna put this on. This was cut out with the Stitched So Sweetly um dies and then we're going to stamp again can you tell which stamp is my favorite <laughs> the dotted frame and daffodil delight whoa why are my hands such a mess oh i know when i use the stamparatus i get messy and we've used it a lot okay let me bring that up here then in the middle i like the sentiments in this set happiness looks gorgeous on you isn't that the truth everybody looks gorgeous when they're happy. Happy does something for sure. All right, memento black. Let's move that. Let's punch. And then we're going to punch that. Now we're going to do some more fussy cutting because I know that all of you out there love to fussy cut. Some of you do and some of you don't. All right, put that on there with dimensionals. Hmm, wait a minute, I forgot. Hold up, did you guys see that? If you put that on there, you can't even see it. I forgot what I did. See what happens when I plan too far ahead? I cut it in half. And then that way, it's a little bit bigger. But wait, we're gonna cover up the gap. Just hold on. See how I made it a little bit bigger it looks weird but that's okay we're gonna fix it okay now this is where the fussy cutting comes in let's clean that stamp did somebody ask if this was yeah are you cindy i don't know if you're talking about that the um chamois is damp i don't know if that's what you're asking about oh i did it again we don't need memento mm, wrong good thing we have more paper flirty flamingo Okay, flirty flamingo, two of them. Then I'm just gonna take my stamp and blend and color it in. This is the light flirty flamingo. If you like to color, you might wanna use your blends with a stamp set instead of the stamps that color it, like me. Then I'll just take my dark and just do a little, little more color here. Okay, then what do I have in the middle? Where's my sample? It's Daffodil Delight. And I think since we just have that stamp out, we'll just do that. Now I'm like, oh, I gotta hurry. I'm late, I'm late. And I don't even know what, I'm not even late. There's nothing to do. There's nowhere to go. Okay, Daffodil Delight. Now the fussy cutting. I needed somebody here to read the comments to me. Sometimes people do have people manning the other camera or the other, you know, the other device. 
Because if I stop and I start reading, then we just I just sit here. You know, what's weird is that every time I go somewhere on a trip, something happens to that place when I come back. We were just in Utah last week, right? And then they had a big earthquake. When we were in Thailand, right after we got back is when all those little boys got stuck in the cave. And then Greece, something happened. What happened after Greece? Earthquakes, I think. Oh, and that volcano, but we were there. That was before, really. And when we went to Alaska, there was a big earthquake after. There was something, it seems like every time I go somewhere, something bad happens. Maybe I just need to stay home. All right, so we've got these. See what I did there? I know, pretty smart, if I do say so myself. I'm just gonna tuck it like that, and it covers that gap, and it makes the die a little bit bigger. I know, Elizabeth, my mom always says that. She's like, okay, what's gonna happen now to the place that you just went to? <sighs> I don't know. All right, here's that black twine again. Snip. And put that right there. All right, now, super cute, but we're not done. We gotta put it on the card base. And we're gonna emboss this card base with the subtle embossing folder. This is one of those embossing folders that you need the purple plate for. Oh, no, no, it's not. It says Sizzix. If your embossing folder says Sizzix, that means it was made before the changeover. Stampin' Up! has changed over how and where they're making their embossing folders and dies and stuff. So if it says Sizzix, then you don't need the purple plate. If it does say, if it doesn't say Sizzix, then you do need this purple plate, okay? But we need just our regular platform, which I am trying to find. Here it is. It's one of the thick embossing folders, so... We just need one plate and I am going to just put this in so we're going to get the front of it. I'm going to line it up with the edge of my card, run it through. Yeah, plate's getting warped. That's uh, pretty normal, pretty normal. Um, I'm sure you know to flip them each time that will help. Um, and there were some things I saw online where you can like put it in the oven and but that never worked for me But yeah, they do All right now dark flirty flamingo. I'm gonna do some splatter Okay with my blend and then I got a little bit of dimensional left on this sheet. I Like the long skinny edge pieces when I need something big like this And, hello Norma, glad you made it. All right, and I'm gonna do it kind of offset. I couldn't decide, straight, like that, or offset. I'm gonna do it offset. And I don't like the way my bow looks, it's funky. I think this guy needs to come up, there we go. And there you have it. Oh, stay. Ta-da! All done. What do you guys think? Do you like the stamp set? I think it's very cute. Very, very cute. Um, it has a lot of potential. You know, like sun, do sunflowers, do um, a different color flower, do it in the background. And then it's always fun when something coordinates with the punches, right? I think so. This stamp set is free with a $100 purchase. And then it is gone for good um, after March 31st. Now remember, if you put your order in before Monday at midnight, I will send you all three make and takes for free. Um, you will need um, the stamps, ink, and adhesive. Remember, I don't send pre-stamped images. Um, you have to do the stamping yourself, but I'll send you the twine, the paper, the sequins, those things so you can make it yourself and the envelopes. All right, before you guys leave, Hold on, I wanted to show you some cards that I got. Where did they go? I got three beautiful cards this week. 
from my downline. Isn't that beautiful? Sweetest of sweets. I like that. That's got that swirly bird thing there. And then Amory brought this one to me. Amory, she always has cute stuff. And even the inside look. Oh, so cute. Amory, thank you. And then this one too. Isn't that beautiful? From Kathy. There's those little flowers. So pretty. That's the celebration set. That little squiggly thing in the back. All right, you guys. There you go. Thank you so much for those cards. You really did brighten my day. Um, it's been a tough couple of weeks for sure. All right, you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Wash your hands. Be nice. Please be kind. And don't say anything negative on the page or I will delete it. <laughs> no more negativity in my life. Um, here's the host code. What else do I need to tell you? The class to go deadline is Friday or is uh, Monday. Um, I have a few Easter kits left and there's a sale in my PDF store. All right, you guys, I will be back Friday at two o'clock. I've got projects for you, whether we have virus or not, right? I will be here. Well, I mean, obviously if I'm sick, I won't be, but knock on wood. We're good. We're healthy. We're all good. All right, you guys hang in there. Um, get crafty, make the most of your time. Okay. And your coronation. I will see you guys next Friday. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.